히트 다 히트 히트 시즌 2 Welcome everybody to the second day of the playoffs here for round number three. I am Valdez. With me today is Rapid. How are you doing, man? You know, it's a good day for esports. Every day a good day for mm. esports. And here we are coming to you guys live from the Nexon Arena in Seoul, South Korea. If you are down here, then get yourself down here. If you're already here in the studio, well then why are you listening to this? <laughs> if, you know, if we could get them some headsets, perhaps. Uh, guys, we're gonna start off with SOS versus Hero here. A great PvP. Holy, yeah, that yeah. Is, that's insane. I mean, everybody knows how good Hero is just from his pro league standings alone. The guy's a monster, and he's going up against SOS. If you guys have been watching pro league for the past couple of splits this season, then you guys know what SOS can do. He actually all killed CJ last time around. Mm. I think he did the same thing to KT in the uh, in the finals yeah, after I, that. Yeah, I think he reverse all killed reverse, KT. Yeah, it was like he was the what? last guy. So good. He beat four people in a row and we're just like, what is going on? Okay, you I, know? I guess they win now. Yeah. I actually really love the all kill format. Can make for really fast nights if the same guy just wins four yeah. games in a row. Alternatively, you can have like cool comebacks like yesterday when MC just came out and showed us why he's the boss toss. Yeah, there he was on screen for just a second. No doubt he's coming back tonight, guys. If you want to watch some MC games, he's definitely going to play at least one as will uh, Hero as he is coming out first. And SOS versus Hero is the rematch, actually. These guys have played a lot in Pro League. They've had some really important PvPs together. SOS took 100 grand off of Hero when he beat him in the finals of that uh, winner take all, 100 grand. I think it was oh, IEM yeah, tournament. True. It was like, um, it was it, it turns insane. out when you just give everybody, like one guy, all the money, then uh, he's going to be pretty happy when he finishes yeah. that up. But, uh, you know, I'm on this stage a lot, but I've never been here with you casting StarCraft. And for everybody else out there who's like, who is this random other white guy that's up <laughs> with Brandon? Who's this league caster anyway? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely defecting back to the motherland, but it's good to cast some StarCraft after a very long time. I think the last time I did this was good old Wings of Liberty. Oh, yeah. But uh, we won't see any more four gates here. Those are gone and yeah. done away many seasons ago. Uh, although we have seen some kind of interesting builds here when it comes to PvP. I'm not exactly sure what to expect completely out of Hero, although if, uh, if, if it's like all the other CJ Protosses, it's like you know standard two Stalkers to start off with, even though that may be not what mm. we see here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, standings for both of these teams. CJ Ant is kind of squeaking into the postseason. Yeah, they just barely made it. They won that last one. I think it was against SKT. And uh, they squeaked their way into the fourth place. They weren't able to get third place. Mm -hmm. uh, so they actually do have to win this today in order to secure their spot into the grand postseason playoffs uh, over Africa, who they beat yesterday. So right, we're going to be starting off with King Sejong Station. Uh, higher win percentage for CJ. But of course, what does that really mean coming into tonight's game? Mm. It's going to be a PvP, so theoretically incredibly even match. Look at this. This is just insanity. <laughs> All the players on uh, the Jenner Green Wings, you can see it's it's much more populated on the left side compared to the right side here. Yeah, it's like Hero, Hush, Bunny, the all MC, and then there's just like this big blank spot. Yeah. Because no one's quite as good as SOS, who's gotten four kills three separate times. And of course, that uh, all kill under his name. But starting off, it will be King Sejong Station, the map between SOS and Hero. Both of these guys incredibly accomplished. And it's no stranger to see Hero coming out for CJ. Uh, by far uh, the most storied player on the team, mm. and at least the best performer this season. He's the most winning player in Pro League for this season. It's a, it's an incredible feat. He actually got ahead of Maru and Zest by, I think it was two or three wins, which yeah. is a really big How margin. How did that happen? I mean, Maru himself, like he's got the best, I think, win record, yeah, like yeah. the ratio. But when it comes to just straight up winning games, no one does it quite like Hero. So the thing about this game is actually that both SOS and Hero can all kill here. Hero hasn't <laughs> done it since 2014, but I mean, and he's going up against the generic Green Wings. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, when you think to yourself about all killing the Jinair Green Wings, like, you got to go through, you know, Rogue, Maru, uh, SOS just to start. So uh, it's probably going to take more than just one player, but anything can happen, especially when it's SOS. And of course, Hero, incredibly talented. So I'm actually just excited to see this. I actually didn't expect CJ to make it this far, even over the Freaks. But man, they looked no, actually yeah. stellar yesterday. So who knows what they can pull out tonight. I mean, you said it best. They squeaked in just barely. They they ran through that door right as it was about oh, to close. your fault, innovation. You had to lose that yeah. game to Bunny. 
And look, look at this. Dinner Green Wings is 56% over CJ, who's at 44. But let's, and guys, get out there. Hashtag SPL and hashtag whatever team you think is going to win or that you want to win. I mean, yesterday Valencia was going on, but you nerds have no excuse not to watch Pro League here tonight. I mean, there's there, there's that other, like, StarCraft 1 out yeah, there. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, <laughs> two is better than one, right? So theoretically, this should be where you guys are at. Of course, there you can see the other pro toss on your screen. Feels weird describing Hero that way because he has so that many other wins. pro toss. That <laughs> other guy, you know, uh, he's got a 55% win rate, so that's pretty darn good to do. He also has a six spotted dog on his shirt. Yeah, he does. Someone asked me what that was yesterday, actually, on Twitter. I didn't respond because I don't know. I don't know uh, what that it's, is. It's, it's, a, it's some a brand. dog who, for some reason, has been genetically engineered like myself with extremely long legs. Yeah, so he knows that and struggle. only two of them. <laughs> and the crown. Well, I think he has like one leg is dark and the other is white, so there's oh, actually Oh, that makes four. sense. Yeah, kind of. But why is it there? Guys, we're going to jump into game number one, SOS versus Zero on King Sejong Station. The cheers are real here in the next arena. Down here in the bottom right in the green for the Janeiro Green Wings, it is SOS. Very appropriate color. And up here in the upper left-hand side of the map in yellow is CJ Entis Hero. So, it would be blue for CJ Entis, but I think the freaks sold that one away. Actually, no, they're purple. Uh, I think it's oh, Samsung. Who's blue? Yeah, it's there Samsung. There we go. Samsung okay. has blue. Got to split up all the colors here. We can just yeah. use different shades of all of that. But uh, you know, what are these starting builds looking like? For all of this? <laughs> What's that? Well, he's—they're both making oh, like, gateways. Got their Chrono boosting probes. Yeah. For you guys who are just joining us, I am casting with Rapid. He's actually a lead caster down here at Spot TV, but he comes down to a ton of the games and he plays a lot of StarCraft as well. So he knows the game. Uh, a lot. Definitely is going to know what's going on here. And if you were watching yesterday, you got to see me as I ran quickly off stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> harassing these nerds up here. But uh, so the starting off, nothing really to uh, to talk about. I haven't actually checked out the uh, the Protoss win rate versus other races. It's always nice to know exactly what the Protoss win rate is in PvP. Yes. <laughs> What like is it, Rapid? Oh my god, I'm Can having to do the math. Am I doing math on stream? That's like a big no no you know, for all the other games. Because I, I actually thought, I'm like, oh, it's 50%. Then I'm like, no. Wait a second. <laughs> no. I'm like, no, don't say it. <laughs> Wait. Think before you do math on yeah, cast. Yeah, I made the mistake of calling this a, a, a coin flip matchup uh, one time, and people are like, uh -oh. it's not a coin flip. <laughs> I just meant it's 50 50 because there's two players, man. <laughs> but this is why we don't do math on stream. You got to have degrees for that. I have yeah. two of those, but it still doesn't do happen. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. You got your degrees? Math? Yeah, both of them. Big Jeez. mistake, by the way. You guys don't have to be, uh, ha don't have to get math degrees to be nerds. You can just play StarCraft. Yeah, uh, you don't need math degrees to cast uh, video games either. You can actually just enjoy playing them and talking about them. That's how I got here. I was just like, hey, nobody else that I know likes video games, but I think they're pretty cool. So let me tell them about that. And then I was like, wait, what if I could just tell thousands of nerds all yeah. at the same time about that? So uh, double gate adept coming out here for SOS and uh, nothing too crazy. We haven't seen any uh, well crazy proxies. Yeah, oh, we actually have. That's why I was seeing those green blobs down there. It is a proxy robo. Okay. Uh, if there was one player to get tricky here, it's SOS. He's the trickster. He's the <laughs> jokester. He, he does crazy stuff. And Hero got into the base, and he saw that a pylon is missing. So he's like, going to go right and scout second. for this. Oh, man. Here it goes. The perfect probe. It's a pylon-seeking missile, and it just found out that exact strategy. So the adept on adept action, I don't. I think they're actually completely even, although faster auto attacks there. And oh my god, it's going to have to shade away in retreat. Yeah, the important thing here definitely that he did get this scout. And the Mother's of course, is going to come over here. Already a second pylon. Is oh, being he cancels made, and it. He cancels the robo. Wow. Uh, he, he keeps the second pylon. Okay, well, I guess he needs the supply anyway, but. Uh, okay, I, I can never tell exactly who's going to shade where, oh. but it is, it's actually the enemy pile on there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. that makes a lot more sense. I was getting confused. I'm like, why? Wow, he's really committing to this, huh? But yeah, actually, good kill. Yeah, 
was able to take that out. So uh, already on top of things, Hero not going for that uh, you know more aggressive start. He's able to counter it out now with a big adept advantage. He's inside SOS's base. And there's the Mushroom Core to Adept's pop out, so he is not going to commit to it. Let me actually check and see if he saw that Robo. I believe he did. Let me see. Yeah, he like, did. Yep. I'm not sure if he... Uh, well, he's going to come in and click it this time around. So he knows. He knows that it is a Robo coming up here for SOS. Just a little bit of uh, exploration inside Hero's base there. And uh, pressure on the expansion. SOS trying to get it up. I like this from Hero. He actually started a Nexus and then he canceled it once he saw the Nexus of SOS. He's like, no, I have one more Adept than you and you're going for a Nexus this early? I can I can punish uh, yeah. that. And he's going to just get some exploration inside the base to see what's up there. Robo just now finishing, but that's actually a Nexus cancel by, uh, by uh, SOS as well. And it looks like Hero, in fact, with that cancel, now puts down his own Nexus. Did commit to the... Oh, no, he cancels that gateway. Lots of canceling going on in this game. Yeah, it seems like neither player is really too sure about that. I mean, we kind of had that yesterday. I think it was... Uh is it uh, MC or I think it was Super, yeah, who like was canceling things yeah. and starting them all over the place. And they're like, well, do you really know what's going on? Both players kind of having to adapt after that little bit of an interesting start. Oh, oh but a perfectly positioned stalker. Hero, why are you so good? He's really on top of this game today. Uh, it's kind of interesting in this game. It's, it's very even. I thought Hero had like a pretty good advantage, but... Uh, he is going to have that Nexus up here, and he does have this Oracle to be really annoying for some overcharges, but uh, they're, they're still very even. He's actually behind a couple of probes on SOS. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that uh, the, the Stargate in general. Usually you don't just invest in that for one Oracle, send it out there for exploration, but it does appear as if things are going to be a little bit more even, although that much faster Nexus for hero. Yeah. I like that you say exploration by the way. That's like you're adding your own little touch into this. Is generally we say scouting, but you're like no way, man. you're like no. I you got to make this cooler actually. I also actually. say auto attacks too, which is like fairly <laughs> not not important when it comes to StarCraft when you just click on the enemy guy, but it's, it's uh, just like an attack basically, yeah, not man. really an Sooner auto attack. Sooner or later I'm going to talk about the different lanes on the map and then you're going <laughs> to know I'm defecting. <laughs> But as far as the uh, actual state of the game goes, pretty even. I mean, supply is nothing too, too crazy there. There's two extra army supply. Definitely going to decide this. But okay, Hero. Uh, he might actually lose an adept here, and I think he will, yeah. That he does. And the Oracle actually swings on by, gets two kills. You're talking about the commitment to the Oracle. I guess it's just to do little things like this and get a little bit of exploration done oh God. in the base. <laughs> Gonna call him uh, Dora the Protoss here, exploring <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Why does it fly in a circle if the patrol is in a straight line, Valdez? I don't know, man. That's a, that's a good question. Shouldn't it just like turn on a dime and go right back? Well, that's I what happened in Wings of Liberty, where you could get those flowers going on. That was yeah. super crazy. And then you realize, wait, if I can stack mutas on one pixel, that's pretty good. So yeah. can't do that anymore. Nobody's gonna know what I have ever, and. <laughs> It's going to be the size of one Muta, so yeah, it was pretty strong. Also, Vikings in TVT, there was that always like tank true. Viking, and you would just always hide the number of Vikings that you had. You're like, no, you, there's no way for you to know. Actually, and then it explodes, and you're like, wait, he has 20 more Vikings. I guess I lose. Yeah, can't do that anymore. So uh, bases up for both players. Economy, I guess, relatively even. Can't see the uh, minerals per minute. I'm actually just counting exactly how fast they're scrolling. That you, that's, that those other. are those math degrees Man, that, are coming in. I'm putting them to use. <laughs> Kids, if you ever tell your teachers you'll never use math, well, here you go, guys. This, this is math in action, yeah. which I think was the name of one of those seminars that was trying to convince me that math was useful. I didn't listen to Math in action? Yeah, mm. no way, man. Not, it, does, uh, it does sound kind of, you know, fraudy. Like, I don't know. It kind of sounds like a Somebody scam to me. Somebody out there is calling me a nerd for that one. I'm like, dude, you're watching StarCraft, so <laughs> let's uh, let's get let's get it straight. So and embrace the nerdiness, guys. Yeah, third base coming up for both players. Although once again, just a teeny bit faster for Hero. Although Hero, off the back of hitting that Nexus, is going to uh, push out onto the map and try to secure at least a little bit of uh, presence out there. Uh, SOS seems kind of content to just hang back for now. Yeah, Hero did make a lot more gateways earlier, so he is going to be able to put on a bit of pressure here. 
Uh, does get supply blocked for a bit, so perhaps not as much. Just mm -hmm. wants to poke a bit. It's not any huge commitment. He does have a lot of stuff lining up, like the plus one and the glaives. But, uh, I mean, SOS's army is very similar in size, and he does have that defensive advantage. But let's see if Hero can get some damage done here. Yeah, that weapon's just finishing for Hero, so he's going to be on a great timing. Uh, Glaive's actually slightly faster for SOS, so we'll see if that makes a difference. Big adept counts here as Hero pressuring this third base. Most likely can't, uh, forcing a cancel here, but does not want to get caught out of position. Nice wall offs, and actually might not be able to get this cancel. The next is dropping down very, very low, and there it is. That's so huge. He actually, you know, he loses some Adepts and Stalkers to do this, but the Force Fields to keep SOS away and the Force a Cancel is so, so big because Hero's got his third Nexus up already. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's SOS going to do? Counterattack? No. You're all the way across the map. It's King Sejong Station. It's a big station. I actually don't yeah. know where the station is. They're actually saw. Antarctica. Yeah, TTR's got all the answers. Oh, now. yeah, that's true. He actually told the me that. Encyclopedia, yeah. Oh, I, I went down to uh, Gongdak, and there's that big uh, presidential palace where they have the statue of King Sejong. And I was like, yeah. is this really what the map's based after? But no, it's actually in Antarctica. That's, well, that's what the station is based after, I guess, you know? <laughs> Which King is what Korea is based after. Well, Korean is yeah. based after. Good the old the King language, Sejong. you know, the, the written language decided to make both a cool language and a uh, sick map here. Uh, Probe's just kind of chilling here. I feel like you got to put those guys to work, but in the end, that will be cleared up. Not not the strongest counterattack, but at least putting some pressure on it. Yeah, SOS has got a pretty sizable army here, but no Archons, actually. He hasn't committed to any Archon tech, no Templar archives just yet, whereas Hero does have that up and running, has made a couple of Archons Oh, a here. nice tag there, though will be able to spot all of SOS's forces as they start to pressure this third. Now, third base is completed. It's mining. It's up and running. So will there be enough pressure here? Dark Shrine started in the background, so at least we'll have that to look forward to in a little bit. But I'll oh, have to keep that Mothership Core safe. Oh, over no SOS is land. trapped. He can't get oh out of here. Oh, my God. How does he leave? You can't leave. Lots of great force fields on both sides. Although the uh, Archon is actually caught in the back, though. It looks Look like at SOS. Time warp. It's so oh huge. It gets God. the entire army of SOS. And here come the Adept shading right on top. And it does not look good for the Green Protoss. What a great start to the match here. SOS and GG. That's it. GG Hero coming out with a win in game number one. A little bit of deja vu for CJ Entis. They're feeling good about it so far. And you can see that Hero Gives also. Gives him some applause. He's like, yeah, that was, that was a good play. He's yeah, feeling pretty, pretty good, good this game. Yeah. Of course, you can see Big Smiles there winning both game one and day one. And there behind him, the other big pro toss for CJ MC. Sure, we'll get a chance to see him a little bit later on. But great start to CJ. A win over one of the best players from Gen Air Green Wings. Although, yeah. I guess you always see the same four players. You were talking about that earlier. Pretty Taking much, out yeah. SOS. Who's next? It's a good start. I mean, that's uh, one thing I, I didn't mention, actually, is that King Sejong Station is such a hero map. They always use hero for this map, right? They had to have known that hero was coming out. He came out first yesterday, too, and now it's an even better map for hero. So oh they boy. send out SOS to snipe him and he fails. So that's like the worst position where it's like, oh, we think 100% Hero's coming out. Mm -hmm. You gotta prepare a build, you gotta prepare a snipe build, you know? And, I mean, he just plays straight up standard. Uh, there were a couple things that Hero did in that match, like forcing the canceled Nexus and just putting on pressure with drops, keeping SOS back. And then also the engagement where he came behind him and trapped him with the force fields, and then he could time warp. Because generally nowadays, we don't see too much time warp. Right. But we saw it there because of the situation that Hero set up. Well, I, I was just kind of asking myself, SOS, like, you, you're, you're moving forward to try to get a good position on the Nexus to maybe take it down, but he just didn't have an escape strategy. He could run for president on those mind mm. uh, sets. But if you uh, think about what player is coming out next, it's going to be on New Gettysburg. So it's a new map this season, and one that I, I know is a little bit confusing to start out with. It's got air blockers and island expansions. It's got a bridge. That is true, man. That bridge <laughs> cost me so many things. Turns out it's exactly four Zerglings wide. Yes. So we uh, won't be, uh, it's just my measurement. It's like, wait a second, there's no Zerglings here, unless they bring out a guy like Rogue. Swarm host King. Could happen. Yeah, I mean, uh, looking at the maps afterwards is Overgrowth, which is one of the best Zerg maps that in the pool. True. So, I, I'm feeling the rogue hype. 
Okay, well... Are you thinking uh, the same, or what I mean, are you thinking? you don't want to use Maru too early. That's sort of, I don't want to call it your ace card, because obviously they did prep SOS for game number one. Mm. That didn't work out, so maybe you just, like, sell, send out Maru and start to, you know, rack up some wins there. Although, like you said, uh, maybe saving Rogue for Overgrowth would make a little bit more sense, just given the statistics. Well, he could come out here, and if he gets the win, he can go to Overgrowth as well. So, because both New Gettysburg and uh, Overgrowth are good Zerg maps, so I, I just like the pick now and just let him get out there if he wins he's also in a great spot to get two wins all right well it's it's, so, it's kind of like well we're trying to figure out which which amazing player comes out next it's yeah. like well you don't get to this point in uh, the pro league playoffs without having an entire team roster that's yeah. extremely good and that was what i was kind of questioning about cj yesterday is you know which one of their players are so much stronger than africa to be able to bring them this far well it turns out that was cj uh that was CJ. That was the team. Uh, it was MC, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he definitely came out and crushed it. So, uh, looking forward to seeing him a little bit later on. But Hero, uh, Hero's looking good today. You know, that was a really solid game. It wasn't like he did anything too special, just the way that he controlled it, right? So, if he's on point and they got MC coming out after him sometime, that's a that's a really strong CJ team we got on the way. That is true. And, I mean, yesterday, Hero only picked up one win. He mm. played against uh, Curious in the second set, and he got, like, really greedy with his Macri, like, put up an early third base, and Curious was just like, wait a second. You I can, can't do that. I'm I, Curious. I can actually just kill you. So he went yeah. with this big Ravager all, all, well, it wasn't all in, but just realized, hey, you don't actually have any units. He rolls up with a bunch of Zerg, and you're like, wait a second. Let me pile on Overcharge my way out of this. It's, it's a good ability. It's not that you good. You can only use it to a certain extent. Yeah. You know? It only goes so far. It's not going to save you from just rushing three Nexuses, especially after you get scouted. It's just like, uh, yeah. kind of going to kill you. So, For sure. Uh, I mean, maybe that game two weakness versus Zerg is going to come out here if we do get a guy like Rogue, but I don't know just yet. Yeah, the, the interesting... Uh, idea for me here is when are they going to use Trap, right? Because there's four players that are coming out, right? right. It's SOS, Maru, Trap, and... Uh